we're enjoying some Balatro. Let's, let's do a straight up vanilla run right here. Now this is still the demo. The full game comes out next Tuesday. I'm excited to experience that. Why are you playing this? It comes out so soon? Um, Cause honestly, like it's either this or SAP and through no fault of the Super Auto Pets developers and community, I feel like SAP's sort of, it's a little cooked. They just came out with an update. The update is good, but I think it's clear that it's like, you know, I don't want to say it's on its way out. I would say that it needs, maybe, maybe it's time to move on to something else. It has been like three years. I'll just play two pair. I don't know why I'm being so crazy with it. That's so sad. Not really. I mean, we played it longer than I played every other game in history except the one, I think. And we're still recording some of it for YouTube, but we're probably not doing like, you know, four hours of it a week on, uh, on Twitch. Plus two chips for every dollar you have. A raised fist dipped in Mama Liz's chili oil. Hey, you know what Joker to me seems underrated? In this game, credit card. It seems sick to take the credit card, buy out the whole shop early in the game, and then just sell the credit card. And you can get like a fully loaded inventory and then just dump the credit card and declare bankruptcy. And also, when you go $20 in debt and then you get a spectral card and the spectral card is create a rare joker and set your money to zero oh <laughs> he knows too much he knows my name uh i'll go simple mode i'll buy raised fist for the moment i, I would love to get that voucher as well if possible squam 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 me duty squam me do Squam, 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 e doodle. A quick discard. I mean, this is going to be... We're, we're not holding three pair. I think that's a rookie mistake. Another rookie mistake, not playing the full house we had, but this will probably still get us there. We're straight chilling. Jumbo Buffoon Pack. I love the idea of trying to make a Fibonacci build work. Let's buy this because it's interesting. Minus one hand size. So it's aces, twos, threes, fives, and eights. Understandable. Have a nice day. Seems like a pretty good starting hand. We've won already. Any plans for the long weekend? Even though Family Guy... <laughs> Sorry. Freudian slip. Even though Family Day is still a relative... It's, it's been around for like, I don't know, 10 years at this point. I always forget that we have a long weekend in February. It's true. Monday is a holiday. I will not be here. What are we going to do? I don't know. We're going to do family stuff. We're going to spend some time together. I still feel I, I, there's probably seven consecutive years of me talking about this bit. Family Day is like the, the most honest holiday on the calendar. And as the result of that, it catches the most heat from Americans. People are like, Family Day, what is that made up garbage? I'm like, bro, what is President's Day? What is freaking like, I'm not, you know, you got to be careful which one you choose, but you really get a Veterans Day and the Memorial Day, like make it make sense, bro. Literally, it's just the calendar being like, hey, here's a day where you could be reminded to like spend time with each other. It's that's what holidays are for, man. I don't even get President's Day. That is crazy. I feel like every holiday with like two exception, exceptions should just be like, this is a family day. Like the UK's kind of got it right. Not in the world of cuisine most of the time, but just being like, hey, six times a year, there's a day called bank holiday. 
well, you didn't even attach like some 200 year old dude's name to it or something. They're like, no, you get the day off. Do whatever you want. It's your life. Not sitting there, oh, President's Day. Thank you, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. Thank you. On this midpoint between both of your birthdays, we celebrate both of you. The only two good presidents, even though they also did a lot of bad stuff. (laughs) Or I don't know, or do you honor all the presidents? I don't know how it works. Okay, Gross Michelle, pretty good. Let's get plus one hand size. Might be divesting ourselves from the raised fist at some point in order to uh, to lean into fib, but we'll see. We're not trying to get a billion points necessarily. We're trying to make it through the game for the time being. Twos, twos and threes, twos and threes do a a number on us, huh? Let, let's let's Fibonacci max and just see how this shakes out. I mean, like this feels like this would be a pretty incredible hand then. So then getting like. Uh, like, hack is obviously the... Is that the, the billion point Andy right there? Safe. We take those. I like throwback, but I almost feel like it's a little bit too good. Like, I, I take it all the time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip for now and save some money. Get some interest going. Twos, threes, and fives are pogging. And aces, don't forget about aces, bro. It's another incredible Fibonacci setup right here. I'm sure we'll find some family day activities and and get up to something. And don't forget the Joker. Me working on the Warner Brothers uh, press tour for The Dark Knight. We got Batman, Commissioner Gordon... Two-Face, and don't forget the Joker! What if we could add more aces, twos, threes, fives, or eights? All right, what if we could add a stone card with a blue seal? I'm saving money. I mean, we're, we're doing so well right now, even with extra large blind. Threes, fives, I mean, this is a crazy discard, but I'm telling you, we're, we're fib maxing, bro. Twos are good, too. But you gotta throw something. Okay, well, maybe I'll just fucking... Fuck myself, then. We do have... To, I mean, two, three, four, five, six is still pretty good. Hot Boy Toke. It's rare to see you do a straight-up parody, but I like that. Stone card has a stamp for extra chips. <laughs> it isn't as good when I sing it. It's better in your head. Save me. I'm together. Suck my. Save me. Ace, two, three, four, five. What is it a parody of? It is <clears throat> Spoon Man. By Sound Garden. I like misprint. This as one in chat if you agree, two in chat if you disagree, and write your nomination in instead. Joker is the worst Joker in the game. I'm getting a lot of ones. Okay, I feel like I'm. I got my my barometer properly configured. Two credit card? (laughs) I was just talking about how much I like the credit card. Let's, Let's, you know, I don't think we need this. We're getting big hands. Let's take a look at the buffoon pack, see if we can get like something synergistic. I do like spare trousers. Might be a little late in the game to be pogged up about it. So we go next. I would definitely skip to get free uh, boosters. That seems nice. And you know what? Like, while we're here... Hello, Sinvicta. Hello. Nice to see you. How's it going? Are you flowing? should stop asking people that. 
It's a reference, obviously, to a Tenacious D song, but people might take it the wrong way. <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? I'm going to play my non-Fibonacci two pair. Why, why am I not just playing two pair in all circumstances? Play my non-Fibonacci two pair. Me asking my female boss if she's flowing. I see your point. Unfortunately, you use the phrase or the word female. And thus, according to the rules of the internet, your uh, point has no bearing anymore. I'm not even... I, sometimes I say female. I think I'm being nice and then people make fun of me. They call me an incel. And I'm like, I literally have a child. But it's just... The, it's the rules of the road, man. Hack me? Hack me? There's hack on the cover, bro. Okay, well... We'll give it a chance here. It is hollow, at least. Ace, two, three, five, eight. Lucky five seems good. Wheel of Fortune, of course. Yes! Chip me! <laughs> oh, baby. Play only one hand type this round. I'm not really, like, pot committed to running uh, just two pair. Like, I think that this is just something we got for free. If it sticks, it sticks. Otherwise, I think we'd be better off, like, going for straights right now. That's just my two cents. Two, this doesn't quite work yet. Does this... I mean, this builds spare trousers, right? Maybe we're getting a little too, too sneaky with it. Even though I, I know it would give us zero points, but this says gains two mult if played hand contains two pair. It's not played? Well, it says hand will not score. You just played a straight. Wolfpack Eric, we're talking about something above your pay grade right now. I know it'll generate zero points for us. I'm asking because there's some ambiguous verbiage here. We're trying to figure it out. We're trying to hash it out as adults here, okay? Without bringing our emotions into it. This spare trousers says gains plus two molt if played hand contains two pair. Now, hand will not score. Does this indicate that hand will not play? Do only scored hands play? In which case, this is just uh, another word for a discard. I'm going to assume the answer is yes. Three, five. Fibonacci is fives and eights. Two, three, five. I guess we'll just go six, eight. Makes sense. Because the button, thank you, the button says play hand. And this says whenever a played hand contains two. But that's why I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not saying it needs to have like a verbiage on there. I'm just asking a clarifying question. Thank you, Lucky Card, by the way. I love a jumbo pack. Really? We got none? None freaking Fibonacci's, bro? I mean, I would take a, a Steel Purple Seal 7, I suppose. Oh, I like a mega pack. I don't like a jumbo pack. Or I don't care for it, at least. Red Seal might be the best seal for big points, but we're on a different, we're on a different level. Not leveling up flush. I'm not living that life anymore. Yeah, we know what? I would love a voucher in the next shop. Why not? Let's send it, bro. I think... Molt these fuckers up. Molt this motherfucker up. Or lucky it, or whatever. Two, three, five, seven, eight. Allows us to play a two, a three, a five, and an eight. I guess we could play six, eight. Would we rather play six, eight? Then we would have the, the gap for straights in the future. Oh, but wait, man. no, we should, well, you know, let's play this one. Lucky card is probably better right now. It makes sense. We got, we got a little lucky. On one of them, at least. 7,000 points. 
two, three, five, seven, eight. The man's a genius. So far, so good. And the banana is still safe. All we need to win, let's not even talk about, you know, a billion points, okay? All we need to win is uh, a multiply, a molt on our molt. Till I blank. Then we're set. Okay, straight flushes get leveled. You know we're going spectral. Hello, NL, from a fellow old head. I'm 25. You, no disrespect, this is actually very respectful. Um, if anything, you are not an old head. That's still, that's quite young. You got lots of time before you're an old head. Red seal? I would love to add red seal to this too, to work with my Fibonacci. 25 plus shouldn't be on the internet. Yo, man, fuck you. We invented the internet. I mean, it was actually like a 73-year-old man, I'm pretty sure, but like... <laughs> man, fuck you! It's actually like... First off, everybody should be allowed on the internet as long as they're over the age of... I don't know, maybe like 15? I did tweet that... If, if we're doing top 50 tweets in terms of cultural impact... One of the ones that's on the list, without me even have to, having to question if it's on the bubble, is the one that's like, I should never be subjected to a 14-year-old's opinion on the internet. That is something, it's not even an anti-youth sentiment. It's just that sometimes on the internet, you get your cup of coffee, you log on, and you see the dumbest shit you've ever seen. You gotta remind yourself, the person posting this could literally be in like the ninth grade right now. Like, it's, it's unbecoming of me to get mad at it. You assume when you're scrolling through it that everybody else is like roughly in the same cohort as you, but they literally might be like, they might be 12 years old and from like another part of the world. And I'm like, bitch, why do you care about Spider-Man so much? And they're like, I'm in the seventh grade. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, good point. <laughs> Who cares about Spider-Man this much to tweet about it 20 times a day? I'm on my spare right now. Uh, anyway, I don't, I just don't think we need this, but if we don't... Well, plus 120 chips of your hand contains a straight. Okay. Oh, you should sell two pair, too. Like, don't... Wow! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what is a spare? A spare is, uh, in Canada, it's a period in high school when you don't have a class. Sometimes happens in the 11th and 12th grade. You have enough credits to graduate. None of the other classes interest you, so you just get like 70 minutes off. Work release. That might be the prison, the prison parlance. You just go hang out in the field. I'm gonna be that guy. I always went to the library. <laughs> and then I'd, I mean, like, I know you're going to be like, shut up. But even as a kid, it just made sense to me, bro. Go to the library, do your homework from your other classes while you're trapped in school anyway. Then you got more time to chill out once you're at home. Like, it's 11, 10 a.m. till lunchtime. I don't need a break. Lunchtime's a break, bro. I'll just do my homework. That way, when I go, go home, I can play Halo 2. Discard, discard. No, oh, don't discard the diamond, no. Discard. We have none discards left. Okay, well, it should still be, like, pretty good. I hate to get rid of this, but let's do it anyway. They hate my ass. They got me playing two pair out here, ruining my own Fibonacci's. You have six hands. Me talking to 
Ant-Man. Me asking Ant-Man if he wants to join my basketball team. Two, three, four, six, eight. We got there. Minus two? Bro, like, maybe you don't know this. Maybe this joke was a little too cerebral for you. Insects have six legs. You could have said Spider-Man. That's... No, the fuck I couldn't, bro. Spider-Man has eight legs. Well, I don't know. He might just be chilling. He might have... I was going to say he might have no legs, which is not true. <laughs> Pretty sure Spider... I guess he's got... He's not really a Spider-Man, is he? He's got eight limbs. He's got two legs, clearly, though. I mean, he doesn't even have fucking six arms to go with his two legs. He just spins a web any size and catches thieves just like flies, now that I think about it. You're plus 15 multi. I do like shortcut, though. Maybe the 120 chimps if you got a fucking motherfucker, you know? Who's that? Who else? You're giving me 30 chips by yourself. I think we sell you. We run this guy right here. And then Gross Michel, at some point, it'll probably get yeeted regardless. Let's get some planets. Sell the banana? Bro, it's, it's fucking plus 22 malt, man. It's pretty good. We would love to make more diamonds. I would love to not have to use this right now, though. I guess would, anything that can help us make a straight of diamonds in general. The banana will sell itself? Yeah, but until it sells itself, it's going to give plus 15 molt, bro. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I get that we get zero money out of it. But you know, like when you buy food and fucking eat it at the restaurant, when you eat it, it's gone, right? You're like, oh, I don't like to buy consumable stuff because then like it's a bad investment it's like okay bitch i'll see you at the fucking morgue then like it's giving us utility un until it doesn't we got nothing to nothing to sweat two three five six eight that's a hell of a hand Just be Jesus and turn your blood into wine. I never thought about that. Did he ever do that? That seems like a New Testament Andy sort of behavior. Can Jesus turn wine into water as well? Because he would be OP in this case. Can you imagine? Okay, listen, I'm not trying to glorify alcohol consumption. But can you imagine how OP alcohol would be if you could sober yourself up at will? Your ass could be like hammered on the bus going to work and then just snap your fingers and be like, good to go. <laughs> and then <laughs> it might still like, you know, cook your liver, but you're not going to get fired unless you suck at your job. But still. Just think about it, bro. Think about it. I feel like you guys, you're not using enough creativity right now. Guy about to ruin his life. It's rewind time. So, so true. <laughs> I think we could run a little, a little ramen. No, I don't think we've left. Oh, well, plus eight. Mul yeah, okay. Maybe we, sorry, gross, Michelle. I know I, this flies in the face of literally everything I was talking about, but this is good. I should have checked on this this bad boy first, but well, I'm not gonna skip, but I'm a little cheesed off. These are not what I'm looking for. You ever think about the fact that Jesus could have turned anybody's entire body into wine at any given point, and he chose not to? It's a good point when you think about it. Jesus is kind of like um, Magneto, but for water and instead of being able to manipulate it he can only either walk on it or turn it into wine it's a good point when you think about it 
Yeah, it turns out, it, uh, that's the thing with Jesus. Apparently, like, at least as he was written, he's like a pretty good guy. I'm not trying to, I know I got a lot of atheist viewers. I'm not trying to, like, cause any problems here. Do I like Mega Celestial Pack? I think I like playing the game, actually. What a fucked up hand. My ass legit be like, you're turning to stone. And then I'm tossing these bad boys right here. It's all sixes and sevens. An Austin Powers quote always hits, but it hits even more when it's relevant. Ace, three, four, six, seven. <laughs> oh, oh, do you want the eight for the Fibonacci or the seven for the diamonds? I don't even, I don't have, oh, I do have shit with diamonds. Plus four, Fibonacci's worth more, okay. Ace, three, four, six, eight. Wow! No, wait, what, what happened? Did something break? I wasn't looking at the screen, I was petting my cat. Oh, you got extra money. Well, wow, plus two chips for every dollar you currently have. I can't get rid of any of this shit, though. This is good, though, because I'm freaking loaded, bro. Times two molt is kind of crazy, though. Buy ramen, buy Todd. I guess we'd if you just get rid of odd Todd. Oh. This, this is plus 10 molt in and of itself. That's a good point. And then never spend money ever again, because we're at the final boss anyway. Clubs are debuffed. It's better to not discard if we can avoid it, even if that means we play some, some straight dookie sometimes. Is my, my thinking, at least. I mean, this is also like not my favorite hand. I guess you could go like super fib mode on this. Like, look at, we got blue seals, red seals, lucky cards, Fibonacci's, a diamond, like, Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty solid for two pair. The worst hand in the game. Jay said clubs are debuffed. That's me on the golf course. That's damn true. I would have met. Well, I don't know. I can't speak for you. That would be me on the golf course for sure. I think I'm more of a tennis guy. But the thing is, I need a tennis partner. Because otherwise, I have to be the dude who's just hitting the ball against the wall. But at the tennis courts, there's that is like the first court that's occupied. Is the one that has the concrete wall. It's a germ a bit? It's not a bit. This is my life, man. Ask the wall player to partner up. Oh, now you're talking. Me going into Germa's chat and saying Northern Lion bit. They will beat you to death with hammers. Actually, they seem really nice, but wouldn't it be funny if they did? Okay. Ace, three, four. She's all sixes and sevens. There's a straight with a little Fibonacci touch. I guess I should have used the seven of diamonds in hindsight, but I think we're going to make it regardless. Queen. Pair of queens, pair of twos with a red seal and a little blue card on top of it. Look at this. To the moon. It's just that easy. This game needs to come out, bro. <laughs> I'm realizing. I've played too much of the demo. I think I have like 22 hours in the demo. No, we don't need to slash marker that. We'll just send it. I feel like it's also been so long since there was like a roguelite coming out that everybody knew was going to slap. Like I actually like feel like it's 
There's been roguelites that have come out where people have been like, I didn't know that this existed, but it's good now that it's out. It's been a long time since there's been one where it's like, we know this is going to be good and we're just waiting for it. Hades Early Access? Yeah, well, this shit was like a fucking 2016, bro. Wasn't it? 20 years ago? Silk Song? <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into that can of worms, okay? You can't make me. Oh Eugene! It's not Eugene, it's just Gene now that I think about it. We should have played the higher straight because then we might have gotten there in one hand. We got there in one hand anyway. I'm not trying to spread hatred or disinformation about Silk Song at all. But I think it is crazy. It's taken a long time, right? Didn't Hollow Knight come out in 2017? Or 2016? It was announced five years ago. That's crazy. It's a small studio. Listen, all I'm saying, I'm not, again, it, it could be amazing. It could be a disaster. All I'm saying is that like, as somebody who has never built anything in his life, don't you like build the infrastructure with the first game? And then the second game, you just kind of like yeet it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, isn't the first one, like, you gotta cut the trees and mix the concrete and pour the concrete and, like, draw the lines on the road? And then, like, Highway 2 is just, like, we just gotta fill in the potholes and, like, you know, add a couple exits, right? That's what I thought, but I don't know anything. Yakuza development be like? They have come out with, like, nine Yakuza games in the last three years, I feel. It's true, Helldivers 1 to Helldivers 2 took forever and the games were like markedly different. That is, you, you know, you're kind of cooking with that one. Wow, credit card! Four fingers! Voucher! I do like Hologram, but we don't have the credit limit for that right now, so just let me get an Arcana pack. Hmm. I apologize for this, um, but it, it simply makes the most sense to start converting everything to spades while we're here. And then, you know, maybe it, it's been a bit since we've run a flush build. I'll just be straight up with you, bro. It's been a bit. So we discard non-spades for free money. I mean, this is absurd. <laughs> and then, I two, converting two aces is kind of nice, but maybe this this is definitely going to get us over the top, isn't it? It didn't, which is ideal, because then we get another world card. Hey, Anel, what's your least favorite part about the movies? We're not going to do that one, okay? Because, like, I already... I put the clip on TikTok and it died. Then I put the clip on YouTube Shorts and it died. It got eviscerated. Nobody cared. That I thought it would bang. It did not bang. It's painful to admit, but it's true. Of course I'll, I'll buy popcorn. One of my favorite parts of the movies. I would love to get a jumbo or I guess I could fucking sell you, bro. I, I fucking do anything. Nah, we'll just wait. Discard you. Receive you. I mean, this is gonna be like straight flush, royal flush city. Oh, it's a it's a straight flush. What did you say it was? 
I said it was when you get uh, lied to at the movie theater, when you get honey dicked. They got the popcorn in the popcorn maker bubbling up. It smells nice and salty. And then when you order popcorn, they have like a plastic garbage bag full of popcorn that they popped like at 2 a.m. that morning. And then they scoop that into a bucket for you. Hardly seems fair, man. I'll take a grabber. I've never experienced that. It ha on big movie nights, it happens. Because I think they're like, we're going to have, like, everybody coming to see Madam Web tonight is going to want popcorn. So, like, start getting the popcorn. It's like the bear. They're in the back. 700 orders of popcorn, boss. Come on. I'm, I'm in the shit right now, Carney. I'm in the shit. You get the, can you put the popcorn in the popcorn maker? Pop, 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 pop. We don't have, they're all making caramel corn right now. What if somebody orders nachos? Listen, you piece of shit, we'll deal with that problem when it comes, okay? We go, go fucking, you dumbass coming to Madam Web, gonna order nachos, they're gonna get popcorn, bro. Worst impression of the bear? Well, I've never seen it, so that tracks. I love that I said it, it wouldn't work. It doesn't bang. And then here we are trying to make it bang again. <laughs> I don't like steel cards. Sorry. But none of these other ones work very well for us. So you know what? Four of ass. You become millennial ass insult. You become a steel card. Get your ass to Mars. Squammy dirt. Squammy dirt. Squammy dirt. Sorry. <laughs> My popcorn. Maybe try the popcorn bit about Costco hot dogs. No disrespect. I feel like there's no meat on the bone there. This is exactly what we want. Um, because the Costco hot dogs come out, like, instantaneously. The only time I've ever had to wait more than, like, 60 seconds for food at Costco is if you order something that's not a hot dog. There's no meat on the hot dogs. They're a foot long, and they're all beef. Please don't slander the corporation. You can slander the customers, although it's not slander because it's true. They do not know how to drive the carts. Full stop. That much is, is guaranteed. But like, let's be honest, they're kind of heroes. They are selling a $1.50 hot dog. Even Librarian tweeted about it. They took their brother to Costco. Their brother looked at the sign and said a $1.50, huh? You don't see that much these days. And it's, it's damn true. Kind of gotta run this, man. I, I'm at the point, I don't think we need four fingers anymore. I mean, this is like a psychotic cell, but I'm, I'm telling you. Let's check out what our spectral pack has as well. Sell popcorn. It's actually a great idea. Why don't you add a blue seal to a low spade? You see the guy that ate the Costco hot dog for a week straight? So I didn't, but I am willing to tell you that I think that anybody that would do that is a little bit insane. It's a skip in this house, unfortunately. Kate saw it. Discard, discard, discard. Discard this, Andrew. I don't know what it was. It just, to me, I'm not trying to cause problems for anybody. It just seems like one of those things where it's like, I'm, you don't have to be a genius to know that you would probably live, uh, well, you would definitely live eating just a uh, Costco hot dogs for a week. Like, uh, 
you know, mankind used to live on dirt and rocks and, you know, just ask Denmark. Stale bread stew and stuff like that. Think about this. You're now gone. Like, you can definitely survive. It doesn't make you, like, a genius. I'm just saying, it is bad for you. Especially, like, the older you get. Like, the less... In my opinion, the less you should be doing that stuff. Because <laughs> I'm like... When you're, like, 20, you're like, okay. Like, this is the time in your life to do it. But if you're, like, a, an established adult... It's funny content, don't get me wrong, but if you're doing it as a genuine, like, science experiment, that's, that's problematic. Hang on, rank me? Like, problematic for your, um, like, your body. Not for, like, the implications for society. Anyway, I, so, I was just LARPing, like, what happens in the video. <laughs> he lost weight and said he felt great? Well, of course, like, you lose weight. I, like, I'm not saying hot dogs are good for you, but a foot-long hot dog is like 380 calories or something, but it feels like you swallowed a bottle of glue. It's, it's an appetite suppressant. <laughs> I can make it. I can make it one more round. And then we'll buy some good jokers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Foil joker? Oh, but then, no, we got it. We need the money. We need the money. You should discard one of these. Discard three of these. Try to make a flush, if possible, without using the blue seal. He's going to the moon. Can you get toppings on Costco hot dogs? Well, it depends what you mean by toppings. I'm going to assume you don't mean condiments. They, they used to have like onions, but they got rid of them during COVID. At least in a lot of places. You can, you can still get them if you ask. I didn't know that. But honestly, I would never ask the... The people work in the Costco food court for anything. They're fucking busy, bro. Like, they're, things are going crazy that back there. <laughs> they're always pissed off. I would be pissed off, too. Like, last time I was in Costco, a lady was, like, talking to a customer service rep. And she's like, I just wanted plain ice cream in a cup, but the machine doesn't let me get it in a cup. It only lets me get it in, like, a cone. Or I can get it in a cup if it's a Sunday, but I don't want the other stuff with a Sunday. And I was like, lady, this shit is like $2.10. Like, I feel like there's like an unwritten rule that's like, what you see is what you get, okay? If you, I'm not saying that like bad customer service should be accepted. I'm more saying like, you should just kind of like read the room that like this shit is too cheap to complain. Can't you just get it in the cone and then like not eat the cone? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, I don't think they're getting too many orders wrong. 98% of people are getting hot dog and cup. I, at Costco, for me personally, sometimes I just raw dog it, and I understand the parlance. But, like, they have 10... It's, it's just like a, a systems design issue. They have 10 kiosks where you can self-order your own food. And then they have two stations where you can add condiments. So you can see where the fucking critical path goes. Me personally, I like mustard on a hot dog. I'm not waiting, you know, behind six people who are putting all three condiments on their hot dog, which is their right, just so I can get a little extra mustard on mine. I'm just, I'll, I'll be done the hot dog by the time I would have gotten the mustard at the kiosk. Anyway, don't distract me. <laughs> I would love plus one hand size. That was our blue seal. And 
I don't think we like hit the road, Jack. I don't think it fits for us. I don't have friends. They disappoint me. Spades are good. A stone card with red seal actually seems nutty. I kind of like a blue seal six, though. I don't think we're going to have a problem getting flushes. We do need another joker, though. Okay, discard a random Andrew. Fl Spade flushes go insane for us. We're due for, like, such a big hand, man. No, my cards! We definitely have six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> what do you think about... Um, a stone card and all the crap we don't want. That was horrible. <laughs> we had none molt attached to it, but that's fine. Hey, Valentine, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you need, you're, you're right, you needed stone card um, with one high card spade. That, that would have been slightly better. Or a lot better, even. You know what? Maybe we're, maybe we're back on this credit card sort of setup here. I'll take a strength card. We need a joker, bro. Polychrome joker? Possibly. Discard. Holy cow. I mean, me personally, we could make four of a kind king of spades. That makes the most sense to me. And then you don't even have to throw a flush along with it. I mean, that's a big hand. Would it, if I threw the other one, well, it's not a big hand at all. If I threw the five, would it have counted as a flush as well? I don't. I think the answer is no. It is. It counts as a flush four. Guys, I might lose. I'll tell you, there's no shot we can play uh, full house. We have to play. Spade flushes, or maybe like four of a kind. What about, I mean, this is, it's a spicy one. What about three of a kind with a good stone card? Ass, pure anus. I received none spades, which boggles my mind. We don't want to play the pairs if we can avoid it, but we have to play, well, because there's a flush house potential. Or is there an ace of spades left? No. Is there a 10 of spades left? No. Okay, then you can throw whatever, whatever the heck you choose. There's no eights left either. Is there, there's no aces left. It doesn't matter. In that case, we should keep whatever we can throw that could possibly make us straight. A little insane, perhaps? Or is a... Maybe we... Maybe you keep full house potential in case you don't draw what you need to draw. But then you can't... You can't draw a full house. We literally just went through this. Sorry, I'm, I'm overcooking it. <laughs> we need to draw three spades, though. That's the problem. But you know what? You should play your... <laughs> Sorry. Should play your aces because they are your best card for scoring, and we might need it. 
What level of full houses are we on? Um, I would have to guess probably one. <laughs> it's just that easy, guys. It's just that easy. Okay, um, it's like three amazing jokers. So a times 1.25 molt that also multiplies the molt by 1.5, that's a purchase in this household. I also think popcorn is a purchase in this household. I still like trading card. I don't know, I'm a crazy guy. These chips would get multiplied, eh, whatever, send it. Extra large blind? Hear me out, Spanish man. Let's try this. Two pair, two of them are spades, and we got a red seal stone card triggering and then triggering the throwback as well. That's a good hand. It's not an amazing hand, but it's a good hand. Okay, I'm sorry. You, you simply have to play flushes. It's a cruel world we live in, and I, I hate to get rid of the blue card, but, but we're not in that we're not in that area of our lives right now. I'll play four, seven, eight, nine, ten in the hopes we get a, another ace of spades. Hey Zimbiji, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. Best part about this though, knocking out extra large blind before it gets too late in the game. Nobody's talking about Balotro. People talking about SpongeBob SquarePants. I failed you. <laughs> the Unabomber? What the hell's going on with the Unabomber Joker? I didn't use flushes every time. Last time we didn't use flushes, bro. We used something else. This time we just happened to get goaded tarot cards for flush builds. You got to call off the dogs, bro. Two of spades with a purple seal. I would take, even though it's we, we don't have the luxury of discarding them in all circumstances. We love to skip blinds, right? Yes, we do. Let me get a straight flush level. Let me get a straight level. Let me get a free spectral pack. Copy two cards in hand. Yeah, we're not going to destroy all jokers. I'll copy my king of spades. Now, this is the one where I always ruin my life. I don't wish to discard a card this time. We don't have to. We, we drew 10 spades. So you are going to play a little thing by the name of... Uh, we don't play you if we can avoid it. It'll be like ace, jack, 10, seven, six. holding the kings in the hopes that we could get like four of a kind with spades. Then, oh, but they're probably good cards. I don't want to dump them. Never mind. We're straight chilling. <laughs> we'll lead his three kings, dude. How would you rank the decrees of Tenacious D in the song City Hall? The first decree, the legalization of marijuana. The second decree, no more pollution and ocean dumpage. From now on, we'll travel through tubes. The third decree was still being ridden at the time when the upheaval happened. No more rich people or poor people. From now on, there'll just be... Uh, hang on, we got to think about that one for a second.
Second decree is pretty good. First decree is pretty good. That's that's a winner. Although I think they went too far by banishing the Shrivs who blocked its legalization. Sell the money joker. Mm, I'm not book smart. I'm money smart. It makes me more intelligent. Call me Mr. Rock Festival. I got hella bands. All right. Someone else said it. All right. Let's in that case, two people in chat can't be wrong. <laughs> well, <laughs> create a I love tarot cards I love tarot cards I come out we got you surrounded I love tarot cards I love tarot cards 80 chips I wipe my ass with 80 chips what do you think about oh we're on the last fight anyway <laughs> okay sorry rip to popcorn let's let's throw a little photograph out here Flush me and straight flush me. Full three of a kind me. He almost talked about pretzel buns. No, I didn't. No, I did not. I'm I'm 90s maxing right now. I've said it a thousand times. I'm not anti-pretzel bun, necessarily, but I do sometimes think that society has gone too far with the buns, specifically. I don't need, like, uh, you know, every burger on the menu's got a different bun. Oh, the California Club has a, a Kaiser roll dusted with everything but the bagel seasoning. Oh, the, the fried chicken sandwich comes with a pretzel bun. Oh, the fucking hamburger comes with a brioche. Like, it's, isn't that, 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 think of the people in the kitchen, man. Can't we just have one bun to simplify the process? Well, now that I think about it, that flies in the face of what I was talking about earlier. I actually, I like the 35-page menu. I think they should bring it back. You're cooked, Balatro. I've cooked you. Have I cooked you? I think I've cooked you. I was six afraid of seven. Because it got discarded. I'm going crazy mode. Forget the flushes. Never mind. We're going to say keep the flushes and win the game. Told you. Hang on, slash Markle, slash Markle me? Me when I'm in the royal family? We'll call that Balatro 1. 